Hey guys, Miss Jay's here back with another video. So today my husband has been asking me for a caramel cake. And so I am going to do it the quick way today. Um, but I am going to show you guys me making homemade caramel and the cake is will be the quick way because I am just going to use a box cake. But you know, I'm gonna zhuzh it up a little bit and um, you know, make it taste a little homemade. But I will probably make a homemade caramel cake from scratch for the holidays for him. But I'm just trying to get this done so that the master chef can get his sweet on, okay? Um, so I'm going to show you guys my ingredients. Then we're gonna make our caramel first and then we're gonna work on our cake, okay? So, let's go. Now that I'm older, got my head on my shoulders. I know that life isn't easy. So many decisions makes me uneasy. When I was a little younger, all I did was slumber. But now I don't have the time, wish I could hear rewind. I'm clearly not built for this. I feel like I'm made of sticks, economy running me to the- Okay guys, here are our ingredients for our caramel sauce um i am going to basically double this batch because i just want to have some extra caramel around the house i may need it i may not need it i'm going to make a 10 inch round cake um but these are the ingredients that i have i have three sticks of butter again i am doubling this recipe then i have a cup of cream i am going to combine my sugars i am going to do actually four cups so this is two cups right here but i am going to do another two cups um, when i pour that in and then i have a cup of brown sugar there that's going to that i'm going to add in so here we have our vanilla then we have some almond and then we have our salt and I believe those are all of my ingredients for my caramel sauce. So we are going to go to the stove and get started. This is the first time that I've ever made caramel sauce or made a caramel cake. So I am going to try and see if we can pull this off. You know what I'm saying? So here guys, we have our pot. And we are going to turn our heat on medium. And then we're gonna pour our sugars in. I did my research on the caramel sauce. I've seen it made a couple of different ways. Some people use um just sugar some people use just brown sugar some people use a combination of sugars and then a lot of people are using evaporated milk i am going to try and use the heavy whipping cream i probably have a little more than i probably need so i am just kind of go i'm going to kind of gauge that we're gonna make it do what it do baby so we've got all of our sugar mixed together and we're just waiting on it to start uh, warming and dissolving into a liquid um i hope this big batch does not burn because it's too much at one time you live and you learn and we will see i am not going to take you guys through this long boring process because um research says that it takes about 20 minutes to make this caramel so we're going to get our sugar dissolved and then we'll be back okay y'all i already messed up i did things out of order i was actually supposed to put all this butter in here first so let's hope we can salvage this
think we're going to be able to get it together. Yay! All right, guys, we got most of our butter melted, most of our sugar mixed up. So now we're just gonna kinda let it go through the browning process before we add our other ingredients. Okay, guys, I think I might be done combine some recipes here. So I do want this for my cake. There goes my vanilla. Here goes my, my almond flavor. Okay, guys, I think I combined some recipes here and I might be messed up a leave even more. But I put in my vanilla and my almond flavor. And I'm going to go ahead and put in some cream, probably to about a half a stirred in there I don't quite have the color I want but let's see if it cook a little bit more and give it to me putting in a little bit more cream They say it's supposed to take about eight to ten minutes for this to stir from this point bubble up and start to caramelize I think we're gonna stop right there with the cream and then we're just gonna let this do what it do let's see where we are in about five minutes okay okay guys I think we may have pulled it back together. I had to add some more liquid to it, some more water. I added all of my cream to it. It was still kind of gritty. Not sure if this is the way it's supposed to look. We might end up having to start all over. Okay, guys. I think I may have gotten this, finally gotten this where it needed to be. It was some work. Took me almost 45 minutes to get this right. Next time we'll do it a little different. I still kind of feel like it's a little somewhat grainy, but we're just gonna go with this and see what we come out with for our cake. All right, all right. Here are my ingredients for um, my caramel cake. That's gonna go with the caramel icing. I am using white box cake mix. I am going to use two white box cake mix, um, two boxes of vanilla pudding. I am going to swap out the oil for butter. I am, will be using imitation flavoring. I do have all those eggs back there because I had three boxes of uh, cake mix, but I think I'm only gonna make two but they are sitting at room temperature. Here is uh, three ounces of cream cheese that I'm going to add to my cake mix. And um, I believe that is, oh, sorry. One more thing, or two more things. I have milk, 
and caramel macchiato, which I am going to use as the liquid in my cake. So I will add up the amount of liquid that I need, which is one cup per box, but I'm going to mix the two to make that up. And we are going to get started with our cake and get it in the oven, okay? Okay guys, I have my two boxes of um, cake mix in here. I have my two boxes of vanilla pudding in here. I am going to do something different. I normally use my petal brush uh, or petal um, whisk or whatever you call this anyway to uh, do my cakes, but I'm gonna try it today with the wire whisk and see what happens. So um, I'm going to add my butter in here. I'm gonna add my cream cheese in here also, which has also been sitting out, softening. I actually might add another three ounces of cream cheese because I usually put three ounces of cream cheese per cake mix. three ounces in there and then we're going to slowly add our eggs and our liquid I do have my milk and my caramel macchiata in here I have about uh, three-fourths cup of caramel macchiata and the rest is milk <clears throat> so close that down lock it down Have my vanilla flavoring um y'all know me i don't really measure with it when it comes to this flavoring i'm gonna add it to my liking and i'm gonna add it to my liquids i'm gonna put a little liquid in here add my eggs in you can add them in one at a time or you can add them in a couple at a time just me alternating you don't have to alternate if you don't want to so we got about half our eggs and half our liquid in here so we're gonna stop and scrape down I'm just going to add in the rest of my eggs, the rest of my liquids, then we're going to get our pans ready. Okay guys, as you can see, we have our cakes here. They have cooled. We're going to take this one, turn it this way. So here's our, our caramel. We're going to put on the top here. So, anyway, spread that caramel out. You know how everybody say when they go out and they had a good time? Maybe like we had a time last night. We had a time last night. Well, y'all, me and this caramel sauce. We had a time getting together. So 
So guys, there's Master Chef's caramel cake. We are going to cut him a slice. And see what he thinks. But we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We thank you for watching. We ask you to give it a thumbs up. Tell all your friends. And we will see you guys with more videos later. My shoulders. Bye. Life isn't easy. So many decisions make me uneasy. When I was really young, all I did was slumber. But now I don't have the time. You can hear me whine I'm clearly not a good But it's suffering Like a made of sticks Economy running Until I'm high It's spiraling Like a natural disaster It's getting harder and harder to cope Wondering should I still have any hope Balance in life feels like I'm walking on a tight road It's the last way on the highway So many people like you Made you all straight It's hard to stay sane Is that at all? Thinking mm. like you Is the result a shock to me, but it may be a need of therapy Cause all these stressful days have got my body feeling so empty I'm drained, overwhelmed If my life were a boat, I'm lost control of the helm Gotta stay productive, no time for hobbies Wonder if everyone else feels the same Probably being grown is enough